if they are in fact in good condition. And I guess we're getting something really cool. Of course you can just experiment. It's not his hair we're gonna be putting this on. It's actually more than okay. going to Lopez this morning because Ralph was really insisting that we get a new chair for my table. I don't really need it, but I think he just wants to get out of the house. Also, today it's already 8.59, well almost 9, and no sign of LBC delivery still. I don't know what time they're coming over, but well, I was supposed to start working this morning, but I intentionally did not because I had the feeling already that Ralph was going to drag me out of the house. And it's good that I had that intuition because I am right. I hope that when we get back from Lope West that LBC is already here. So Dia finally got her product. Um, she still has one more complaint about LBC. It's not that I'm whining. It's just that when... Well, it's good that the parcel already arrived. I mean, I'm thankful for that. But, the, of course, there's a paper that I need to sign that I received it. But the thing is, the paper says, received in good condition. Well, in order for me to sign that, I need to actually see the items if they are in fact in good condition and they said their rule is it's only exterior like if the box is okay then that means it is in good condition see we don't know what it looked like when it was sent but it does look like it's been beat up a little bit <laughs> I guess we we're getting something really cool so there's the quick blue excuse me L'Oreal quick blue Oh no, it's the one pound tub. Okay, the local. Wow, look at the size of that. Okay, there's the 12% local developer. I don't know if it says 40 volume somewhere, but this is the same as the 40 volume. Currently, Ralph is putting um, coconut oil in my scalp to protect it before bleaching. As you all know, I have. Um, Seborrheic dermatitis, so we just can't just jump to bleaching. I just shampooed my hair to remove the oil, but not too much because I need some little oil left on my scalp for protection against the next course, which is the bleaching process. Ralph is just currently reading. <coughs> the directions for use at the back of the L'Oreal Quick Blue bleach and he may have to send Pika out though later because I heard yeah we really have to send him out Oh, he doesn't want to go out did you hear him <laughs> he was like Pika it's a reminder that I'm your Pika you're not supposed to kick me out sorry Pika but the smell of the bleach is not good for you. You would be dead. You will be back though. You'd be a step to little Pika. Everybody can see how Pika is an amateur <laughs> manicurist. Yeah. <laughs> if you just stick your finger in there, he will bite Remove the, and <laughs> the uh, long nails off and he will also get the cuticles. Yeah. Ew, Pika, don't do that! <laughs> they do it like that. They can do whatever they want. Of course, when it's my own hand, I just do it like that. From the LCD, it looks like my hair is yellow now. It's no longer white. 
We'll see if we get this right, it will be super white. <laughs> but you will only be dyeing the roots, right? We're going to be dyeing the roots, but we're going to be coloring your whole head with the white. We're going to start with bleaching your roots. And then we bought this. Remember, we are going to be demonstrating EBSA in part two of this video. Yes. Because we looked online, we couldn't find any review of this hair coloring, so it is called Color Bleach. And we will find out if it actually works because and we couldn't color find any white. white online. You see that? Color white. So, if it can't get from yellow to white, there's definitely a problem with the product. Yeah. <laughs> So everyone gets to watch as I destroy her hair. <laughs> Except for Pika, Pika, you're gonna have to watch the rerun. <laughs> Bye, Pika. Um, you can talk to Jordy for a bit. You will be back here, baby. Okay, so we're about to mix the what's it called? Quick Blue with the developer. Now the instructions on the quick blue said it says for the 40 volume developer, which is what we have. Uh, now it says 12%, but 12% is the same as 40 volume. And it says for every scoop to use 1.2 to 2 ounces of the developer. The problem is ounces is not measured in is not a volume, it's a weight. Of course, we don't have any way of doing that. So, it says right on here, 1,000 milliliters divided by 34 fluid ounces. So, I just opened up a calculator, divided it out by 34 to get the number of milliliters per ounce, and then just multiplied that by 2. Came up to 58.8, and we have a 60 milliliter uh, container measuring cup here so we're just going to use this we'll just make sure it's not completely full and that should be close enough that's why I <coughs> leave the math to him one scoop of this they really used the end of this to more dangerous well if this is a cooking show that's already a blooper there it's fine it's just going in your hair you're not going to eat it so there's the blue, it's very blue. Yeah. And here comes the developer. Hopefully this won't trigger my asthma. If it does, we have a SARS mask. So uh, thankfully, what's the name of my doctor gave it to us? Dr. Ares. Dr. Ares from... Her name is Dr. Luz Viminda Ares. She's a pulmonologist at um, Riverside Medical Arts Building. She's a great doctor. She's given me a f lots of free stuff every time I go. Last time she gave me a SARS mask. Before that she gave peak me flow. a peak flow meter. Um, a lot. She changed my prescription to this, wow, which really stopped really my smells. asthma attacks. Yeah, that's why oh, the window's open. It that's is why I have the SARS mask ready. Just in case. Wow, yeah. And you know what? It really smells. The videos on YouTube, they always say you have to be in a well-ventilated area. Well, we have the careful fan here, so there. That's pretty close. It's not completely full, but if it I was should close my full, cabinet. It'd be too much. Okay. This okay. is the local developer. Do you really have a spoon or something for this? I guess this will work. Okay. So you just mix it up. Okay, so we mixed in the two ounces of local developer with the one scoop of quick blue, and it is way too thick to use. So from chemistry class, I know I can add water to this. You should. Um, because this is way too thick to use. It needs to be more liquidy. 
Okay, so here we go. We're about to add some water. Um, we don't know how much to add. This is really our first time. You're not really supposed to be adding water, but we it's too thick to use, and we don't want to add more developers, so it's going to be like 30 milliliters of water. will hopefully be enough. There. And it seems to work out pretty well. It's much more fluid. It looks like we can really work with it now. Hopefully we didn't ruin any of its bleaching properties by adding water, but we really had to, as you saw, with this developer at two ounces, it just wasn't enough. Of course, you can just experiment. It's not his hair we're gonna be putting this on. I added water, which means it's diluted, which means if anything, it just won't work as well. So I'm wearing the t-shirt that um, it's okay to have bleach stain on or any kind of stain because Ralph is really ready to throw this one away. So if you see any nipple, just ignore it. <laughs> that shirt should really be gone. <laughs> bleach here. Now normally you'd just be aiming for the roots here, but we're just going to aim a little higher, hoping over time we can get it to transition into the blonde so we don't have to burn her scalp every time. We're almost done with the first application of the bleach. Uh, went all the way through her hair. Um, this was with one scoop. It just barely made it. There's still some places that are a little bit light. So I mixed up some more, about a, another third of a scoop of the bleach with a little bit of the 
volume 40 developer and some water in the same same relative amounts as the original batch because we ran out just at the end though so one scoop is just barely enough to get through the head um, maybe if you really know what you're doing you can get through but and yeah there she is yeah we're just gonna touch up some spots that we missed so the bleaching process is done and he did good if you look it's even now although he said he saw some parts at the back that he missed but overall I think it's okay it's actually more than okay I had better product to work with though. yeah this we quick blue worked really well you want to show the quick blue again yeah really did all the work kind of pricey <laughs> but it's worth it um, there was no complaining about her scalp burning or anything no. like that. The other products were all cause tingling and burning. I I believe this is also what David Salon was using because maybe it looks the same. It looks exactly the same. Um, after I rested, he's gonna dye me using this. We'll do a whole another vlog to review the episode. Yeah, there's never been a review online. Um, of EPSA color bleaching product. Now this is white, as you see. We're already almost to white, so yeah, the but the product should be able to get it. The only place you can see, if I bring it around, so because you can't really show in the back, you can see it's kind of yellowy. That's where the what was it? The silver dye, the stuff they use for platinum, that yeah. has pretty much washed out from sunlight and shampooing and everything else but so that's a little yellow 